Hi, everybody. The Bisons win tonight 31 to nothing here in Magnolia. And Paul Simmons uh, got off to a good start. That first drive uh, turned it over, but then uh, got the football back. Dylan Hendricks forced the turnover, and I thought that was a huge play early in the football game, and you were able to capitalize with the points and uh, go up 3 nothing early. You know, there's no doubt. I mean, that, that first half was played just the way we want to play football. You know, our defense played 18 snaps. Offense possessed the football. But, yeah, that – you know, giving the ball away and then getting it right back was such an incredible momentum deal. I mean, the defense, I mean, those guys with all their skill players to, to pitch a shutout uh, and do it the way they did in, in such dominating fashion, I mean, that's back-to-back -back weeks. And, you know, just an amazing job by, by those guys, but by those coaches. I'm telling you, you know, the way those coaches pour into the week and, and the way they work and care, Coach Moat and Coach Tribble and, and, and Coach Bigelow and Sam Blankenship and I mean it, it is it is awesome. I just I'm so I'm so proud so proud of the boys so proud of those coaches. Yeah, it was dynamite. Ten nothing lead at the break. Then you come out in the second half. SAU goes right down the field and missed a field goal. Then your team would put together an 80 yard drive after that to go up 17 nothing. That was a key spot there early in the second half. Yeah, I tell you what, I I you know I thought really for the first time this year the offense looked like who we are. I mean, just pounding the football. I really thought they made their front six quit. I thought they quit. Um, and, uh, you know, that's that's who we have been. That's who we want to be. And, you know, we really had a great week. We did. We started off on, on with, with a great win Sunday night after church. And, and we just, every day we stacked up wins. And, and uh, you know, we needed this to happen. But, but we, we had a dynamite week, and it was evident today. It was a that was a complete, complete team win, and that was that was one of the best wins I've ever been a part of, really, as far as how good they were and, and how uh, we handled that game was – was uh, I loved it. Talk about the defense a little bit more. Ja'Cory Nichols with an interception for a touchdown, and then Kay Pugh with an interception for a touchdown. That's now three interceptions returned for touchdowns in the last – two weeks and uh, that really put the game uh, in a good spot for the Bisons after those two pick six. Oh yeah and, you know it's just unbelievable and you know both those guys are so fast I mean they're just really dangerous and I knew when Ja'Cory called it it was trouble um, you know that guy's do you know he's such a talented guy and uh, you know just just the joy of watching those guys do that it's unbelievable and you know Kay Pugh that's that's back-to-back -back weeks with big plays and um, yeah it was a it was a really fun win. Preston Payton, talk about him, Coach, 78 yards uh, rushing. I thought he ran the offense really well tonight, your quarterback. Well, he managed the game really well. And, you know, that's the name of the game in our offense is just taking what they give you. And, and uh, you know, that's a really talented defensive front. You know, number 99, and he, he might be the best lineman in the league. Um, and, you know, so um, to manage the game the way he did tonight was a, was a really big deal for us. And the decision-making was fantastic. All right, Coach Simmons, happy bus ride home, I know, and uh, back at home for the next two weeks. And, well, we'd love to see great crowds at First Security Stadium the next two weeks at home. Well, we need a, we need a giant crowd Saturday. Man, come on out and pull for us. Um, we're we're going to try to make you proud. We're going to play hard for you, I promise you, All Bison right. fans. All right, Coach Simmons, thanks for your time. Bison's went at 31 to nothing, and they are now 2-1 and one on the season as they pitch back-to-back -back shutouts after last week and now this week. So with the Bison's here in Magnolia, this is Billy Morgan for the Harding Sports Network.